get this stuff fixed. Uh, we got a lot of faith in our players. Uh, excited to get out of here with a win. It's a tough place to play. Jim? Mike, I guess if you could just speak to overcoming some things that didn't go well for you earlier and maybe the defense giving you a chance there with the stop late. Yeah, it was, um, you know, to come back and, and let them answer after we had, had scored that touchdown. Um, you know, I give our defense a lot of credit all night. They kept battling. You know, it's not great, um, but but again, it, it was it was hard fought. And I think sometimes the tougher it gets, the, the better we are. You know, we, we can embrace those types of games and, and win those tight football games. Paul? Mike, did you feel like you got the, as much as you expected out of the outside linebackers? And what was the strategy be, behind three being enough? Um, you know, every week we go in, we see who's healthy. And, um, you know, that's where we were today. Um, Jack helped us a little bit on, on first and second down. And, um, you know, we have to watch the tape, you know, and see, and see how we played and see what we did. There's a lot of things that we'll have to correct to get better uh, against Jacksonville. I know he quote unquote won you the game, but can you speak to the to the misses from Gaskowski and your continued inability to to get field goals from from whoever's kicking them? Um, you know, we, we we all have a job to do, and uh, you know, I, I'm very confident that that'll uh, get corrected. But again, uh, like I said earlier, it, it's not on one guy. Um, you know, whether there's some push or the snap, and we got to make them. That whole operation. You know, that, that was one of the keys of the game where it was the field goal, field goal block unit. Um, and, and, and fortunately for us, that didn't cost us. Corey. Coach, congrats on the win. Thank you, Corey. The uh, poise your quarterback showed um, in that taking your team from the 10 for the victory. Yeah, huge drive there late. You know, we just, um, you know, stayed together. And I thought Adam and I thought Corey was, was fantastic. Um, you know, they, they pressured us the one time, which um, kind of got us. And then, you know, late there to be able to move the ball down. And, and I thought grind out some, some clock and some yards to get us down there into the, the ship, chip shot range was was huge. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of faith in Ryan to get us in the right play uh, and operate our offense. You brought up Corey also. Seven catches on seven targets, 100 yards. This, this was one of his better games for you, wasn't it? Absolutely. And, um, you know, really proud of his effort. Um, to, to get himself to this game, you know, and, and I think admittedly, uh, probably not at 100%, but uh, was happy to, to present him with a game ball in there in front of the team for his effort and toughness and competitiveness. Buck? Uh, with Corey being able to do as much as he did tonight, Mike, it seems like you guys stuck with the run and stuck with Derek, even though it wasn't exactly explosive throughout the course of the game grinding them down late. How, how did, how was the, I guess, what was the approach with sticking with the run and understanding that Derek was going to be able to help you regardless of how that went? I mean, I think that that's what you have to do. That's a good defense. I mean, I think you start dropping back and throwing it all over the place or, you know, that, that, that is a, that's an excellent defense. You know, we, we came out here and didn't score last year. Um, and that's, they're well coached. They got really good players. Um, so, so this was a good test off the bat uh, for all of us. Terry. Mike, were you uh, considering going for the fourth and short there when the clock ran out and they decided to punt or was that a strategic? Yeah, I just kind of felt like, no, nah, I just felt like, you know, at that point in time that the, that the timeouts were going to be critical. Um, didn't, didn't like our operation. And at that point in time, just felt like, um, you know, if we couldn't get out there and do it efficiently, that we should just take the delay and punt it and, and play defense and, and see if we couldn't, you know, do what we did here at the end of the game. And then uh, along those lines, how how good was it by keeping those timeouts to be able to use Derek in the two minute offense there? Well, that's that's the thing. Those things are they're their golden ticket, and uh, to be able to keep them uh, allows you a lot of flexibility uh, down the stretch. Obviously, to challenge plays, but also to to use the entire field and and to be able to to manage the clock and and do what we did. John Glennon. Hey, Mike. Um, Rashawn Evans, obviously, uh, 
troubling the situation there. How, how surprised were you to see that in the first place? And, and two, how much the impact, uh, not only his absence, but uh, as a player, but, you know, a guy who kind of sets the defense too, how much did that hurt? Yeah, I mean, it does. We have to use great decisions. You know, we, we talk about this uh, when it's penalties and, 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 you know, keeping our composure uh, at the end of the play. And so, you know, we try to practice that, that if those things happen in practice, uh, you're out of the game. Uh, and when, when you throw a punch, um, that, that's what happens. And so, you know, you hurt the team, and uh, I think he'll learn from it. Another one I had was on Chris Jackson, a little bit of a surprise to, to probably a lot of us that he was seeing so much uh, time. What, what has he done to, you know, maybe kind of move ahead of, of Christian a little bit there and, and get so much, um, you know, so many snaps on uh, on week one here? Uh, he's been available. He's been able to practice. Um, almost, I would imagine, every day. I think he missed a day or two uh, throughout camp. So but when you're available um, and, and you can go out and practice, you, you earn reps and, and opportunities. Luke? Mike, there were a lot of penalties and other mistakes that are typically not characteristic of how this team has played under you. How much? I know you'll take the win any way you can get it, but how much do you feel like there is to clean up moving forward? Yeah, a lot. You know, I don't know how many penalties we had. I think there were five maybe, but, um, you know, I think that um, there, there's always things to clean up and uh, more so now than ever. And we got to do it quickly uh, with, with, a, with a long flight and a quick turnaround. TD. Yeah, congrats on the win, Coach. Uh, we talked before about the ball disruption drills that you did, and you see uh, Bayard force that fumble, then you see – Corey Davis able to make those contested catches. How how much of how much satisfaction do you get out of you know seeing these guys carry over what it is you practice into get into the game? Well, I mean that's just that's the nature of this game is that when you practice a certain way and you, you have the ability to, to build confidence and practice, uh, it carries over to to the game. And uh, again, when you're in traffic and you're a receiver, you have to go attack the football. And, and I thought Corey exemplified that. Uh, we still need to create more turnovers. We need to still, um, you know, do some more of those things on on on, on defense. But uh, again, anytime we can attack the football uh, out in front of our eyes and, and, and be strong with the catch, uh, those are good things. And Corey got involved early in the game and consistently throughout that first half. Was that kind of what you guys wanted to do? Establish that connection early, or was that just kind of where? The, the reads were taken tentative. Yeah, I think a lot of those things, those are just kind of where the read takes us. And, um, you know, Corey does a lot of dirty work in there. And so, you know, to be able to get him out on some of those play passes certainly um, proved uh, to, to be helpful tonight. Thank you. Jared. Yeah, Mike, congratulations. Um, at the In the last drive, what were you thinking as – Vic kind of let the clock go down without using his timeouts. Did that kind of adjust how you managed that situation there? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that at that point in time, it was like, let's just get it down here close enough and, and take care of the football and, and win the football game, you know, with, with a field goal. And, you know, got a lot of confidence and told Steven uh, early on, I think after whatever miss was that, hey, you're going to have an opportunity to win this game. I, I know, I know you will and um, you're going to make the most of it. And then uh, in the in the second half, you guys really stopped Noah Fant compared to what he did in the first half. What did you guys change in terms of focus on him in the second half? Well, I mean, just uh, just an awareness and an understanding and, and playing correct leverage. And, you know, there's a lot of things we got to get fixed defensively. But, you know, week one is always difficult. Um, it's, it's a great challenge. Um, so, Hopefully we can watch the film and learn from it and, and understand what we need to do better to, to continue to win. Hey guys, we got time for uh, one more. Robbie says we have time for one more. Okay, so, jumping in. I'm jumping in. Mike, uh, oh, some, come on. I'm sorry. Some some guy, coaches in that situation, Mike, might see a guy struggling or an operation struggling or both and say, you know, it's got to be touchdown or bust here is – I guess was your history with Steven some factor there? No, you know, having played with them, know him well in terms of still believing he could make that kick. Yeah, I just kind of know, you know, what I mean, I, I think that you, you have to, you know, what I mean, it's like sitting there and be like, well, we've had it's been red 10 times on roulette, so I'm going to bet 
black because it's been read 10 times and it doesn't work that way. Um, I just felt like we were going to be able to make the field goal and, and that was the right play. You know, I mean, that's the, that's the proper way to approach it. Um, and, and everybody did their job on the last one. Thank you.